Hello there, and welcome to this second tutorial for the Live Face app, where I'm going to show you how to play with the setting strength for each uh, character and also how to work on the profiles. All right, so on my on Crazy Talk Animator 3, you see that I have two characters. <clears throat> I have a penguin character and I have a human character. So these are two different types of characters. The first one is a sprite-based character, which means that it consists of sprites inside. Um, if I go into the sprite editor, you'll see that my character, my face, my penguin character, consists of different mouth sprites, different sprites for the eyes and everything else. Now, the image-based character, or we call the morph-based character, which is Rosenberg on the right, this is made from a photograph. And the way that Crazy Talk animates here is that it stretches and morphs, morphs the pixels to try to simulate an animation. Now, I'm showing these two different characters because they have different um, results when you're using the facial mocap with live face. So let's start with the penguin here. I'm gonna select the penguin. I'm going to open my facial mocap panel. I'm already connected to my live face app on my iPhone 10, And let's start with the preview here. So I'm gonna animate something. Oh, that looks nice. Okay, remember me? Arr, nice, all right? So I'm gonna open the strength adjustment here on the right. Basically here, I have a lot of settings for different features of my head. I have a uh, brow, eyelids, eyeball, cheeks, and everything, and all these have values. And I also have a strength slider, which I can use. So let me just um, show you. I'm gonna bring my eyebrows up, try not to move my mouth too much, and increase the global setting slider. Low, high, low, high. All right, that looks pretty cool. All right, um, if I want to reset this, I can type in a value of 100 or double click on the name. And that'll reset it. Okay, let's try the eyebrow. Oh, that's pretty cool. See that? So now I have the ability of customizing that feature for the eyebrows. What about the eyelids? So stay put, eyelids. Yeah, you can see they're affected a bit. Okay, as I increase or whatnot. Eyeballs, this should be interesting. Let me try to move to the side and increase the eyeball left and right. And you see the effect that's happening, right? Let's try the other side. All right, okay, I'm getting dizzy. Ha! <laughs> Eyeball, double click, reset. Let's try the cheeks here. So cheeks up, down. You see it's happening a bit. I'm gonna try not to talk too much. Look at my eyes on my penguin. Sort of, I can see the lower part of the eye is they're sort of stretching because the cheeks are sort of like pushing up. You don't see that much because obviously this is a uh, sprite-based character. All right, let's reset. We can try the mouth too. Okay, this will bring the mouth up or down. All right, now here's an important thing I want to mention. If, you, if you're talking quickly and you want your facial mocap to catch up with those sprites that are being switched around in the mouth, um, one tip is to increase, increase the mouth strength settings, okay? This is because we have a curve inside and if you increase the mouth strength strength settings, then it basically allows the tool inside to switch the sprites quicker. So if you're a fast talker like I am right now, <laughs> then I strongly suggest on a sprite-based character, try increasing uh, the, the mouth strength a bit, all right? Just like that, you see? So if I'm a football announcer and he goes to the left field and he's all into the corner and he shoots and he scores, that will work nicely. So double click on the mouth and we reset. What about the jaw? Jaw is not affected too much because again, this is a sprite-based character and the jaws are usually set. And then we have finally the head rotate. So I could move to the side, hold it, and move the slider. You see that? The other side and the slider too. So you get the idea. 
At the end, if you wish to reset all of them, let's say I moved all these to the side and everything is customized. If I wish to reset all of them, you can always go up here and I can click on Reset Strength and that'll neutralize everything. All right, great. Let's close the strength setting and I'm going to stop previewing Spacebar because now we're going to work with Mr. Rosenberg. So I'm going to double click on him to select him. I need the bounding box around my character. Hold up. Am I selecting Mr. Rosenberg? There we go. Now the bounding box is around him, so that means I selected him. Great. So I'm going to open the facial mocap panel. It's connected with my face app here. So we're good. And uh, let's try this. So once again, with a, with a morph based character, basically it's a photograph. We don't have sprites inside. So what the software is trying to do, it's trying to morph and stretch the pixels to simulate an animation. So you're going to get different results from a sprite based character, which is just simply replacing the sprites for the eyes and the mouth and everything. So we're connected and let's preview with Mr. Rosenberg. Oh, that's pretty cool. Actually, that's pretty freaky. Oh, I can close blink. All right. <laughs> okay, so let's play with the strength settings now. I'm going to cl uh, click on strength settings. And um, just the same way that we have global, I could exaggerate these a bit. Now, you have to remember, when you have... A human character a morph based character like this you need to control your expressions okay and you need to control these settings the reason is because if you have exaggerated settings and they're on high your character is going to look very cartoonish and humans don't usually talk like that so you need to play around with these strength strength settings and I'll show you uh, let's go to the eyebrows I can get my eyebrows up and increase the slider or decrease okay and you see those that morph animation sort of happening there let me double click to reset um, and I can also play with let's say the mouth now if I open my mouth here ah uh, you'll see that my avatar his mouth is too wide it's too big it looks almost cartoonish so what I can do is lower the mouth strength until it looks a bit more natural. Remember, us humans, we're elegant, right? Well, not everyone. <laughs> but we don't talk in such an exaggerated fashion. So you might want to take a little time to tweak these settings when you work with a morph-based character. All right? And at the end, if you wish to reset all, you know that button, and that'll do the trick. Okay. All right, so you'll notice that um, inside my facial mocap panel, we also have something else called the face profile. And if I hover over it, you'll see that we have sprite base front, side right, sprite base side left, and we also have image based head. Now, because I have Rosenberg selected here, he's an image based character, Crazy Talk Animator automatically selected that profile. So it's pretty cool knowing that the software is clever enough to detect what kind of character you're using. So if I, for example, um, if I force a sprite-based profile on this image-based character, you'll notice that the results don't look quite right. And I'll show you this. Let me first try normally the correct um, animation, the correct profile. Okay, we have Rosenberg there. And it looks okay. And I'm going to switch out, force a image-based profile on him, and you'll see the results are not quite right. Okay, this is because that image base, that sprite-based profile, is not made for him. It's not customized or optimized for this character. So likewise, if I go to the penguin here, and I choose um, the sprite-based front, it's correct, and you'll see he's like a mirror. He's perfect. He knows exactly what he's doing. Okay, left and right. And if I force an image-based head on this sprite-based penguin, you'll see that the results are not right. He keeps on doing this O oh thing with his mouth. Okay, once again, it's because this profile is not optimized 
for this type of character. All right, so remember, you want to use the correct face profile. But what about the side-facing characters? So these are for sprite-based characters that have a side profile. And I have one of these. I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to move everything to the right. And I'm going to go into my character folder. And inside, I'm going to go to animals. Actually, no. Let me, let me open this up a bit. I have a, a content pack I installed, G3 Animal Horses. And I have horse number one. I'm going to drag and drop this guy. And here's my horse. What a stallion. I'm going to maximize his face. There we can see him better. Yeah, he looks like an angry horse, huh? <laughs> so this is a, a sprite-based side character. He's looking towards the right or left. I don't know. We'll figure it out. So I'm going to select this character, and then I'm going to open my facial mocap panel. And we're, we're, we're connected. And immediately the software can tell this is actually a sprite side right character. So if I play this preview, you'll see that he looks good. And I go up, he goes up. If I go down, he goes down. <laughs> this is actually a pretty cool character. All right, so this is the correct face profile. Oh, look at those mouth sprites. That looks awesome. Okay, so I'm going to stop this, and I'm going to go to sprite base left. What's going to happen? He's a right side character, but if I choose sprite base left, what's going to happen? If I go up, oh, hold up. Up, he goes down. If I go down, he goes up. It's inverted, all right? The opposite is happening because obviously I'm forcing an opposite profile on this character. Likewise, if I go to image base and I do a preview, he doesn't look quite right, okay? Again, this guy is a sprite-based character and he should have a sprite-based profile, preferably the one that is fitting to his side. Arr, now that's pretty cool, okay?